Hello everyone, welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. Good evening all of you. Am I properly audible and visible to all of you? Please let me know once. Hi Chandan, very good evening. Good evening Jaitish. Good evening Mahadev. Yes, yes, I will tell you the procedure. Just hold on everyone. <coughs> So good evening, good evening all of you. First of all uh, guys do share this class with all your friends and juniors those who are going to appear for gate 2022 exam and also those who are preparing for gate 2023 so that they can get the benefit of this class. Okay and I want maximum students to so do share this class then only I will be starting. Let's, let's make this number as high as possible. So what you have to do, you have to open this uh, YouTube video. Apart from this, uh, in the browser you need to, you need to uh, type menti.com and then you have to use this code. The code is visible in, on your screen, that is 49315195. See, <clears throat> uh, today I will be taking these uh, 10 questions in this uh, menti quiz. So it will be a kind of revision for you, okay? Yes, code is visible. I hope code is visible to all of you in the on the screen. Four nine three one five one nine five. Yes, guys. <clears throat> and do share this session with all your friends. Good evening. Good evening, all of you. I will start. I will start the quiz only if I get fifty plus students. At least fifty. Keep joining, keep joining guys, quickly. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> Let's make it to 50 at least, so that we can have a competition, right? <laughs> mm. Keep joining guys, then only I will start. And you don't have to answer in the chat box, just answer in the quiz, okay? Open menti.com and payment, uh, no, no, just open menti.com and then type this code. Code is 49315195. Yeah, it is also there in the chat box, you can see the code. Keep joining guys. <clears throat> okay, Kirti. That's good. It will be better if you join by your real name so that at least I can, you know, interact with you. <clears throat> good evening, Nishan. Good evening. Yes, guys, keep sharing the session also. Let's make it to 50. Then we will be starting the session. Keep joining, guys, quickly so that we can start the session. <clears throat> Code is 49315195. Okay, Chandan. Yes, guys, keep joining quickly so that we can start the session quick. Okay, Nishant. <coughs> Yes, guys those who don't know how to join just go to menti.com and type this code 0931-5195 to join this quiz <clears throat> keep joining keep joining guys <clears throat> class duration will be maximum one hour not more than that okay Maximum one hour. Only 10 questions we have in this session. Only 10 questions.
yes guys quickly join and also share with your friends good evening good evening raman <clears throat> let's see let's uh, test your concepts how well you have revised how well you have prepared for operating system okay good evening good evening cj yes guys quickly share quickly share the session with all your friends so that we can have maximum students no just you know you need to enter one time only it will be better if uh, kirti only 10 uh, 10 questions will be there not 15 10 questions will be there duration will be given to you don't worry chandan duration will be provided uh, given to you to the to for for every question okay good evening shai the same <clears throat> yes guys operating system operating system subject okay so when we reach 30 then i will be starting the session okay then uh, later on we can have more students so 29 it is now let's make it 30 and then we are going to start <clears throat> yes uh, we are going to have that kind of league also for CS students we are planning that okay let's make it 30 and then we will be starting guys quickly quickly join the session join the quiz <clears throat> okay so shall we start now now we are going to start right so let's start the session and this is the first question on your screen guys Be ready with your pen and paper and quickly solve the question. You have two minutes to solve this question. <clears throat> you have two minutes to solve the question, guys. You have to answer over there only, okay? So you have to use a round robin algorithm time quantum is two unit just you have to find the completion time of p4 process completion time of p4 process yes guys quickly answer one minute 10 seconds left last one minute guys be quick <coughs> Fifty seconds left. You have to answer over there when you join the menti quiz. Last thirty five seconds. Be quick, all of you. Twenty seconds left. Yes, guys, I want maximum participation. Quickly solve this. Be ready with your pen and paper while answering the question. And don't answer in the chat box. Don't answer in the chat box. You have to answer in the quiz only. Right. So time is up. Time is up. And so here. The correct answer is B and only 8 students have answered this question correctly out of 21 students. So let's, let's see the leaderboard guys. Let's wait for the leaderboard and here we have Raman Lamba on the top of the leaderboard and he is the fastest to answer this question. Then we have Rishabh Pandey. 
एंड नीर अभी सक्षम हुसैन श्रेया एंड देन अदर स्टूडेंट्स ओके गाइस सो आर यू रेडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आर यू रेडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दोज हु हैव ज्वाइन नाउ गो टू मेंटी डॉट कॉम एंड यूज दिस कोड फोर नाइन थ्री वन फाइव वन नाइन फाइव टू ज्वाइन दिस क्विज एंड टू पार्टिसिपेट सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू and this is your question you have 1 minute to answer this question number of times os and system will be printed that you need to find out in this one loop is running from 1 to less than n for call is there If fork is equal to zero, then operating system will be printed, OS will be printed. Otherwise, then you can just go out of the for loop, and then you have this print F system also. Quickly, quickly do it, guys. Last fifteen seconds. Quickly respond in the quiz. let's see how many of you will answer this question correctly and time is up time is up so here we have seven students have answered this question correctly seven students have answered this question correctly and let's see the leaderboard let's see the leaderboard who is on the top now so we have okay they are on the top of the leaderboard and then we have hussain then we have i think his uh, saksham then raman and then other students so very good very good shreya so guys if you if you answer any question incorrectly don't get demotivated you have other questions also and then you can uh, make up your points in those questions right so here we have the leaderboard are you ready for the next question so here we have the next question it will be better madhav if you stay uh, there on the quiz <clears throat> okay so it, it will be better if you open both things in your uh, browser this youtube video as well as as well as this menti quiz in the other tab <clears throat> So for this question, I'm giving you thirty seconds, guys. Quickly answer this. <clears throat> Time is up. So here we have eight students. Those who have answered this question correctly. the question is in multi programming with fixed number of partitions when we say fixed number of partition the partition size is fixed right we can have a uh, you know we can have a let's say 500 kb of partition let's say two partitions are there 500 kb and 200 kb now if we have any process of let's say 400 kb so we are going to allocate it to 500 kb partition or if we have a pr uh, process size of 100 kb we are going to allocate to 200 kb in case if we are using best fit so best fit will always give better allocation in case of fixed number of partitions so that is why option d is the correct answer let's see the leaderboard now let's see if there is any change in the leaderboard and i'm expecting some change here okay now we have i think saksham on the top of the leaderboard then we have shreya husain raman and sunita so sunita is the fastest one who have answered this question correctly very good let's let's move on to the next question <clears throat> question number 4 be ready guys <clears throat> so here is your question so i hope question is visible to you for this question i have given you 
थ्री मिनट्स ओके आई एम गिविंग यू थ्री मिनट्स फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन लेट मी रीड द क्वेश्चन फॉर यू यू हैव द टीएलबी द हिट रेशो ऑफ टीएलबी इज गिवन टू यू दैट इज नाइंटी परसेंट कैश हिट रेशो इज गिवन टू यू दैट इज एटी फाइव परसेंट मेन मेमरी एक्सेस टाइम हंड्रेड नैनो सेकेंड कैश मेमरी एक्सेस टाइम ट्वेंटी फाइव नैनो सेकेंड टीएलबी एक्सेस टाइम फिफ्टीन नैनो सेकेंड यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट इफेक्टिव मेमरी एक्सेस टाइम I have given you enough time for this question. You can try to solve this quickly, and single level paging is there. So here we have TLB cache as well as main memory. <clears throat> you can use the calculator. Yes, Arithik. I will provide the solution later in my Telegram group. Those who are, uh, those who are say, uh, waiting for the solutions, solutions will be provided in the Telegram group. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yes, guys. <clears throat> One minute twenty seconds left. Be quick. Last one minute, guys. Be quick. Mark your answer. Forty-five seconds left. Be quick. Quickly answer this. Last thirty seconds left. <clears throat> Fifteen seconds left. Be quick. Itna, uh, go to menti. dot com and use the code that is given on the top of the slide. Four nine three one five one nine five. Okay, so here eight students have answered this question correctly. Let's see the leaderboard here. <clears throat> Let's see uh, who is on the top of the leaderboard now, and who is the fastest one to answer this question. So we have Hussain now on the top of the leaderboard, and then we have Saksham. so there is a lot of difference of the points between first topper and second student good evening suhas so let me let me explain you this question uh, basically in this question you have the tlb right you have the tlb so first you will be accessing the tlb if there is a hidden tlb that means address translation will be done then you can directly go to first cache memory <laughs> i'm sorry then you can directly go to cache memory if there is a hit in cache memory then it's fine but if it is a miss in that case you need to access the main memory right but if there is a miss in tlb then you need to go to first page table to perform the address translation then again you will be accessing cache mem cache memory first if there is a hit it's fine if there is a miss miss in that case you need to access the main memory so this is the flow this is the flow solutions will be provided in the group don't worry about it let's proceed to the next question now question number 5 be ready guys and here is your question <clears throat> so this question is based on exponential average algorithm that we used uh, that we used to find or to predict the burst time
this guy is quickly do it last 30 seconds this is not difficult just formula based question Time is up. Okay. So here we have uh, eight students again. They have answered the question correctly. Twenty-five millisecond will be the answer. So here you just have to use the formula. What is the formula for exponential average algorithm to predict the burst time? That is T n plus one will be equal to alpha small T n. That is the actual burst time plus one minus alpha uh, capital T n. That gives you the previous predicted burst time so in that way you can evaluate the next predicted burst time so let's see the leaderboard now so if we talk about the leaderboard here now let's see who is the fastest and who is on the top okay so saksham is back on the top of the leaderboard and then we have a raman very good so that there is a tough competition going on between the top three top four students and Raju is the fastest one who have answered this question correctly let's move on to the next question question number six and here it is which of the following is true about threads so you have four options here different threads share the same heap different threads share the same stack different threads share the same program counter none of them <clears throat> yes quickly answer this quickly answer guys time is up okay so five students have answered this correctly guys uh, if we talk about threads so threads share the same heap right heap is same for all the threads of a process but every thread is going to have its own stack its own program counter okay and its own register set so that's why option a is correct for this question let's see the leaderboard now <clears throat> and here we have so again i hope i think yes saksham and raman both are fastest to answer this question but saksham is ahead of raman so very good all of you those who are performing well let's proceed to the next question now <coughs> question number seven so we are going to quickly cover this up <coughs> yes guys be ready question number seven So one numerical question here page size is given to you logical address physical address is given to you level of paging is given to you and you have to find the size of the page table for each process. I hope most of the students will be able to answer this correctly. This is not a difficult question. <clears throat> Yes, guys be quick last 30 seconds you have last 30 seconds to answer this question fifteen seconds left size of the page table you need to calculate here last five seconds be quick time is up let's see okay six students have answered this question correctly so that was a really easy question size of the page table is number of entries you have in the page table multiply by the page table entry size right number of entries you can evaluate that will be equal to a number of pages in the process or logical address space so logical address space divided by the page size and page table entry size will be 
frame number bits plus the extra four bits that is given in the question. That is going to be your. <clears throat> yes, Ashreya, time was less. Okay. So here is the leaderboard. And still, Saksham is on the top of the leaderboard. So I feel it will be very difficult for other students to come to the top of the leaderboard. Let's see. Let's see. So here you have uh, the question number eight. Okay, and let's see the question. Okay, I hope you will be able to answer this correctly. In one minute, in a 64-bit machine with 512 MB RAM and 8 KB page size, how many entries will be there in the page table if it is inverted page table? So this question can be answered, uh, you know, within one minute easily. I agree for the previous question, the time was a little less, but for this question, you can answer. How to find the entries in the inverted page table? That is really simple. <clears throat> so it involves the physical address space and your page size. Okay, time is up. 11 students have answered this question correctly. That's really good. Let's see the leaderboard now. So basically number of entries in inverted page table will be physical address space divided by the page size. Hi Ankush, good evening. Let's see who is the fastest and who is on the top. So we have Saksham again on the top and then we have Raman. Madhav is the fastest one to answer this question. And that's that's really good. We have Chandan also, Raju. Okay, let's proceed and let's see question number nine. So here is the question number nine, guys. Read the question and solve it. You have one minute to answer this question based on a uh, semaphores process synchronization. Yes, you guys. Last 30 seconds. <clears throat> Last 5 seconds. Quickly answer. Time is up and 11 students have answered this question correctly. That's really good guys. So it was very simple question. You just need to, you just need to find out the values of semaphores so that we can have first print gate, then gate 2022 and then again gate, right? So let's see the leaderboard now. Yes, op option C is correct one for this question. And this is the leaderboard. So who is the fastest to answer? We have Preeti who have answered this question fastest. Okay, so again, Saksham is on the top of the leaderboard. Then we have Hussain. Very, very good, Hussain. You are doing well. Then we have Raju, Raman, Shreya. Okay. Let's let's see the last question of today's class, guys. Question number ten. Okay, so here we have the last question. <clears throat> and in this question, you have to find out the correct statements, number of correct statements.
number of correct statements you have to find out in this question. There are four statements given, you need to find out the number of correct statements. So this question can be answered within one minute. Last 15 seconds. Okay, time is up. So five students have answered this question correctly. So for this question statement one statement, then we have a statement. Three statements will be correct, right? Statement one will be correct. Let me see. And statement two will be correct. Okay, and statement four. <clears throat> so total three statements are correct for this question. Let's see the leaderboard, final leaderboard after completing this all uh, 10 questions. So here we have, yeah, so Aksham uh, is on the top of the leaderboard. He has answered most of the questions correctly and quickly. No gift name, Milega. <laughs> there is no gift anchor, right? And then we have Hussain, Raju, Raman. Many students have performed really well. Madhav is also there. Aisha. So very good, uh, all of you, those who have participated. So guys, for the PDF, uh, for the PDF of this question, I will share in my Telegram group. Okay, you can join my Telegram group. I will add the link also in the chat section, and then you can join that. There I will discuss. There I will post all the questions. Yeah, I think uh, there was some problem, uh, Raman, uh, between the this Menti and this YouTube. There was some delay. Little delay was there. Okay, no problem. Uh, next time I will I will provide you uh, you know more time for every question. Don't worry. Okay. Fine. So thank you guys for joining this session. So we have covered all the questions quickly and we'll see you in the next session right well then take care and yeah yes i will i will definitely share yes jatish i will share the pdf of all the questions in my telegram group with solutions don't worry <laughs> Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you all.